I am so excited. I am beside myself. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. All right, I'll bite. Louis, what is it you're getting so excited about? I'm so fired up! Turns out Louis Giglio is getting excited about a protein called laminin, which binds other proteins together. But I'll let him describe it in a slightly more theatrical way. It's like the rebar of the human body. The steel they put in the concrete when they lay the foundations of things, it's that stuff. It's, it's holding your membranes together. Look, I'm going to cut through all this crap and show you what Louis Giglio finally showed his audience. And these little thumbnails come up on the screen and I'm like... Wow! That's laminin? Now I am as happy as a little girl. I love laminin! I'm so fired up! You should see laminin, I guess. That's the thing, right? Okay. Here is a scientific diagram of the laminin cell adhesion molecule that's holding your body together right now, okay? This is what I found right here. Uh, they don't seem all that fired up, Louis. No, come on, that's crazy. <laughs> that's just crazy. Oh yeah, that's better. The reason the creationist crowd have to be told to get enthused is because, well, what the hell are we looking at? Okay, it looks like a cross, but this is... What was it? Scientific diagram. That's right, it's a scientific diagram. This isn't what laminin actually looks like any more than the London subway system looks like this. It's just drawn this way to make it easier to visualize. The actual laminin molecule doesn't look anything like that, so surely Giglio won't dampen the enthusiasm even more by actually showing them one. Well, yes he does. He sends me this image, an electron microscopic image of an actual laminin protein molecule. It looks just like this. They still don't give a flying f Louis. But I can't say I blame them. What the hell is this? Like how crazy is that? That the stuff that holds our bodies together, that's holding the lining of your organs together, holding your skin on, is in the perfect shape of the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is? Well then, let's compare them. I've heard of blind faith, but you can't be that blind, Louis. This is nothing like the perfect shape of a cross. And neither is this. This is another photo of real, actual laminin. And this. And here's how laminin is usually represented as a scientific diagram. Even by coveted golden crocoduck standards, this attempt to make people see something that just isn't there requires gonads the size of basketballs. It's not as if it's all that difficult to find much better crosses in nature, after all. You can find crosses on the backs of toads, in spiders' webs, and even in bananas. And what about the man-made world? Look at how God is spreading his message through railway tracks and Lego blocks. Or maybe none of these things have been put there by Jesus. We're predisposed to try and pick out shapes and things. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. Don't get upset with me for that. I'm just showing you a dog's bottom. If you saw something that wasn't there, that's entirely the fault of your wild imagination. And anyway, Louis, what's all this supposed to mean? Are you suggesting your god couldn't be bothered to eliminate genetic defects, but he thought it would be hugely fun to make billions of little proteins that sort of looked like misshapen crosses, and spiders' webs, and the insides of bananas? Has he really planted all these silly images, or are we just seeing things that aren't there? <laughs>